So, next is multiplier. Okay? So, minsan, yung number, kailangan mong i-increase or decrease in a certain percentage. So, halimbawa, so ito yung question an over-current device must be size no less than 125% of the continuous load. If the load is 80 ampere so the question is the over current protection size must be So, that is blank. So, ano yung <coughs> overcurrent protection size kung 80 ampere siya? Masabi rito, an overcurrent device must be size no less than 125% kung siya ay continuous load. Ano ba yung overcurrent device? So, overcurrent protect protective device, so ito yung circuit breaker or fuse. So, kailangan mo siya kung, hindi siya, kung siya ay continuous load 125%. So, ibig sabihin, Kung ano yung load mo, multiply mo by 125%. So, kung mayroong mga choices, halimbawa, uh, sa letter A, mayroong kang 80 ampere, letter B, 100 ampere, then letter C, 125 ampere, then letter D, is 175 ampere. So, ito yung mga choices. So, para masagot yung tanong na to, itong 80 ampere, so since ito yung continuous load, nag-increase siya by 125%, so it will be multiplied by 1.25, bakit 125? Kasi percentage to. So kapag convert natin ang 125% into decimal, so ito yung magiging 1.25. 25. So, i-divide natin siya by 100. Okay? So, 125 divided by 100. So, the answer is so, 1.25. So, kaya tayo nagkaroon ng multiplier na 1.25. So, 80 times 1.25 the answer is 1.25 times 80. So, 100. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Sagutan. So, number 2 question. Maximum continuous load. Upon over current device is limited to eighty percent of the device rating. If the device 
is rated 50 ampere what is the maximum what is the maximum continuous load So, halimbawa, ang pamimilian dito ay A, 80 ampere, B, 125 ampere, C, 50 ampere, then D is 40 ampere. So, basahin ulit natin yung tanong. The maximum continuous load of an overcurrent device is limited to 80%. So, overcurrent device. So, ano ulit yun? So, ito yung fuse or circuit breaker. So, limited lang siya into 80%. So, derated siya. So, laging ganun yun. So, dinederate yung uh, overcurrent protective device kasi hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin ng 100 full capacity niya. So, kailangan 80% lang. Halimbawa, meron kong 15 ampere na breaker. Yung 15 ampere breaker na yan, hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin na 15 ampere na lahat. Okay? So, kung kakabitan mo ng ilaw, hindi mo pwede i-maximize yung 15 ampere niya. So, kailangan i-derate mo to by 80%. Okay? So, kung yung 15 ampere mo na breaker, i-derate mo. So, times 80%. So, 0.8. So, bakit naging 0.8? So, 80% converted into decimal. So, divide by 100%. So, the answer is 0.8. So, kaya nagkaroon ng 0.8 na multiplier. So, kapag minultiply mo yung 15 ampere ko na breaker times 0.8, the answer is 12. So, dun sa circuit breaker mo na 15 ampere, hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin na uh, 100% po capacity niya. So, ang gagamitin mo lang sa kanya is 80% lang niya which is 12 ampere. So, 12 ampere na to, dito mo na pwede malaman kung ilan yung ilo na pwede mong ilagay sa kanya. Okay, or load na pwede mong ikabit. So, halimbawa, meron kang 20 ampere na breaker. So, ganun din. So, kapag may overcurrent protective device ka, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung full capacity niya. So, 20 times 0.8, 16. So, 16 ampere lang. Kung magkakabit ka naman ng mga outlet dito, so, up to 16 ampere lang yung maximum rating mo. Okay, so, balik tayo dun sa question. So, dito sa question, Yung device mo daw is rated 50 ampere. So, device mo is rated 50 ampere. So, kung meron kang 50 ampere, so, ganun din. So, de-derate mo siya. So, multiply by 0.8. So, 50 ampere times 0.8. 50 times 0.8 the answer is 40 ampere so pag lingnan mo dito sa choices so the answer is letter D ok so letter D so ganyan lang kadali yung pag solve ng multiplier so basta natandaan nyo kapag maximum continuous load of an overcurrent device so yung limit lang sya ng 80% lagi yung 125% na sinabi kanina, ay yun naman ay kapag uh, mag, uh, magsasize ka ng protection mo, ng circuit breaker mo. Okay, so kung continuous load siya, kailangan times 125%. Okay, times 125%. So madali lang naman mag-convert ng percentage into decimal. So, kung, ayun na nga, so, kung halimbawa, uh, 90%, so, paano gawin? So, 90, divide by 100 ka lang. So, 0.9. So, kung 0.8 ka, so, 80, divided by 100. So, 0.8. Then, yung kanina, 125, converted into percent, so, divide by 100. The answer is 1.25. So, ito yung multiplier mo. Okay? 